Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So today I'm going to be doing a, another empties video and it's really funny because I don't actually really decide when I do empties videos, my husband does because I store my empties over near his side of the bed and so when I get too many empties it actually gets hard for him to get over and onto our bed and so the other day he was looking at my stack of empties and he's like, are you going to be filming an empties video soon? And I was like, yes, yes I will. So that's what I'm doing here today. So I've got a lot of different products, um, some makeup, a lot of body care and skincare as usual, but we'll just jump right in. The first um, item you've seen before, and this is the Jason Calming Lavender Body Wash. Um, the ingredients aren't perfect, but I do like the scent. My husband also likes it. We can pick it up at Whole Foods. A lot of times they have sales on this. Um, so I definitely have been loving using this and I will continue using it. However, I've not repurchased one recently because I've accumulated a whole bunch of soap, like bars of soap. And so my husband and I are trying to work our way through those bars of soap. So actually, I don't think we're going to be purchasing any type of body wash, body soap, any of that for a while. But when we eventually do run out of the soaps, so we'll probably return to this. Just because I personally prefer body wash over a soap, I don't know. I'm just not the biggest solid soap bar fan, but I have a lot of those to work through right now, so we're working through those. The next thing I tried was a sample, and this is from Desert Essence. It is the coconut oil toothpaste, and this is the coconut mint flavor. And I really just didn't like this. Um, I didn't really like the taste of it that much. I didn't really feel like it did much for cleaning my teeth. I don't know. I, I did work through the entire sample, so I got a couple of uses out of it, but it just wasn't anything to write home about. The next thing I went through, also not surprising, this is the Desert Essence Organics Lemon Tea Tree Shampoo. I absolutely love Desert Essence shampoos. This one here is definitely one of my favorites. I've been using their new smoothing shampoo and conditioner recently. I really love those as well. They contain apple cider vinegar. I will continue purchasing this. I think I'll kind of alternate between purchasing this and the smoothing shampoo, um, depending on what my hair needs, because this is definitely more of a clarifying shampoo. So I think during the summer, this could be particularly nice, but maybe the more smoothing during the winter would be good. So I like both of them. I really don't think you can go wrong with any Desert Essence shampoo or conditioner, especially given the price. Like the price of these is so great, especially for how well they work. So now I have some face uh, wipes. The first one here is from Found. It is the Eucalyptus Detoxifying Face Wipes. And these are supposed to be pore cleansing. Um, that's why I picked them up because I tend to have really clogged pores. I like to use a wipe to remove my makeup before I go in and wash my face because I do have very acne prone skin that is oily. So I want to make sure I really get my face clean and I can't do it with just one cleanse. I really need more than one cleanse to get my face truly clean at night. So I like to use wipes first. I had been trying out some found makeup, so I thought I would also try out some of their skincare. They're okay. Um, I had been using these, which are the Yes To uh, Cucumber Wipes prior to using the found. Um, as you can tell, I've also gone through a package of these recently. And I think they're more or less comparable. Um, the ingredients in both of them are not perfect. They're not horrible either. I don't really feel like there's much of a difference between the two of these, to be honest. The only thing, I don't know if these caused it, but I do have a dry patch under one of my eyes, um, like right here. And it appeared about the time that I started using this wipe. Um, I have no idea if that was the cause of it or what it was, but I have noticed that since I've switched back to using these, it does seem to be getting a little better. I don't know if it's just coincidental and it's just a healing. Maybe this was just a little bit more drying. I don't know. But either way, I went through one of these wipes and one of the Yes2 Cucumber wipes. And so overall, I think I would purchase the Yes2 Cucumber wipes over the found um, wipes. But if I were at Walmart or making another found purchase, I would probably go ahead and throw them in my cart. There wasn't anything like seriously wrong with them. I'm just a little bit cautious because I don't know if it dried out my eye and I really hate having dry skin especially someone with oily skin, it really irritates me because I'm like, my skin is oily, why are you dry? But, so I think I would probably stick with the Yes2 Cucumber Wipes. I also tried out the Found, um, one of their sheet masks, and this is their Red Clay Sheet Mask. Um, it's supposed to be clarifying, and uh, I'm really not a sheet mask user. I've only ever used one other sheet mask prior to this one, so 
I'm not an expert on sheet masks is I guess what I'm saying. But this here, um, I picked it up, but then I was kind of annoyed at myself because when I read the ingredients on the back, the ingredients really were not that great, especially for skincare. Um, I'm a little bit more lax with ingredients in terms of makeup, but I did go ahead and try this anyway, um, even though once I was reading <laughs> ingredients, they weren't my favorite. I don't know why I didn't read the ingredients more carefully in the store, but I guess I didn't. I do have to say, when I applied this mask, it really did make my skin feel very hydrated. My makeup just glided on after I used this mask. Like it was one of the best makeup days I had. I don't think I would use this this often, but if I had like a really special event to go to, like maybe somebody's wedding or to an award ceremony, I don't know, something where I really wanted my makeup to look extra, extra good. I think I would put this mask on in the morning and then apply my makeup. So I'd say it's more of a special occasion sheet mask, it's not something I would use every day. And also, just in case you're wondering, it was one of those more papery sheet masks rather than like a jelly or cellulose type sheet mask. It was a paper one and it was super, super wet when I took it out. It was actually dripping everywhere. Next up, I have the Shea Moisture Strengthen, Grow, Restore Conditioner. So I did use this up, like you can see I've gone through it. It was okay. It was not amazing. I didn't feel like it really conditioned my hair. A lot of times my, I would still have issues trying to comb out my hair after I shower. My hair just gets really tangly when it's wet. Um, it's always been that way ever since I was a tiny little girl. Um, I don't really have curly hair. It's just something about the texture of my hair when it's wet loves to get into knots and it's really hard for me to get it um, detangled. I have a very particular comb that I use and it is the only comb that can comb through my hair when it's wet. Having a good conditioner definitely does help with getting my hair combed out. It smelled nice, but that's really the only good thing I have to say about it. I switched to using the Desert Essence Smoothing Conditioner and I love that so much better than this one, so I definitely would not purchase this again. Another thing that I go through every once in a while is some tea tree oil. So I went through this bottle of tea tree oil. I picked this up off of Amazon. I use it because it does help with my acne, especially sometimes if I have really bad acne, I will use this as a spot treatment to really help clear up the acne. And it does work. So every once in a while, I just go through a bottle of this. I have another bottle that I've been using. I just like to keep this on hand, especially as someone with very acneic skin. And believe it or not, I've actually gone through an entire Leilani mermaid mask. I absolutely love and adore this mask. It is completely worth the price. I already have a new jar of this. I've already been working on using that. I just love this mask. I think it is so great for every skin type. It really leaves my face feeling hydrated. It's so smooth and so soft and so supple after I use this mask. My face really loves it. I love it. It's green when it goes on, which I think is super fun. The smell is great. Um, I also leave it on typically longer than it says. Like I, I think it says around 20 minutes. I normally leave it on for like 30 minutes. Um, I do find though that if you have some sort of mist, uh, toner mist, if you can mist your face prior to putting on this mask, it just makes the application of the mask a little bit easier. It makes it easier to spread around your face. But if you've not tried this, you definitely should. I mean, I already have gone through an entire jar. I'm on my second jar. I love it. Next up, I have the Simply Divine Botanicals You Can't Zit Here Blemish Bam Banishing Foaming Face Wash. I did like this. I obviously went through the entire bottle of this. I picked this up on Beauty Habit. The ingredients in it are really good. I just found that it could get a little bit drying on my face, especially as we're moving into fall and winter. My skin can get a little bit dry and this is just a little bit too harsh for everyday use. So I have switched to the Great End Skincare um, Super Sensitive uh, Foaming Face Wash, which I love. And um, I actually just purchased another bottle of it during the Credo Beauty uh, Friends and Family sale. So if you are looking for a really good face wash for sensitive skin, I 100% recommend the Graydon one. But this one was okay. Like I said, it was just a little bit too harsh and I found one I like better. So I'm not gonna be repurchasing this. The next one I have here is another face wash and this is the Valley Green Naturals Activated Honey Charcoal Cleanser. I really like this face wash. It is super weird. You kind of, you put it on your face dry and you massage it on and it's like this black kind of sticky consistency. It feels more like a mask. And you actually leave it on your skin for a minute to two minutes before you rinse it off. So it's kind of like a face wash and a mask simultaneously. I think it really helps my skin. It's more hydrating than a normal face wash because of the honey. 
And also, it's really deep cleansing though because of the activated charcoal. This is one of the face washes in my nightly skincare routine rotation. So I really do like this. I already had purchased a second bottle, so I started on that one. It's definitely a really good um, face wash and it's pretty affordable as well. I believe it's around $15 and it just works and my skin likes it. So I'm going to stick with using it. I also have gone through this. This is the Osea Sea Minerals Mist and I got this sample size in the Petty Warrior box and I already have gone ahead and purchased the full size of it. I really like it. My skin really likes it. It's just a really nice mist to provide a little extra hydration. I don't know. I just really liked it. And I do intend to keep this bottle though because I have the larger full size of it and I thought if I wanted to travel I could decant some into here and then use this as a travel size. Though I don't know if you remember me griping in one of my Petty Warp uh, videos about this. The mister on this kind of tends to squirt at me. It's not a fine mist. It kind of shoots like a little spray at you. And when I purchased the full size, I did in fact find out that my mister on this one is definitely defective. The full size does mist very nicely. It gives a nice kind of mist instead of like a spray shooting at you. So I definitely prefer that. I like the product. I just didn't like how it was spraying. So I'm really happy now that the full size is giving this like nice mist. And I get the wonderful sea minerals mist instead of like the sea mineral spray that was coming at me. I like applying it on my skin after I wash my face in the morning, but before I put on my makeup, I think it just gives a little bit of hydration without being too hydrating on my oily skin. So next up, we have the Coco Lavish Dry Shampoo. I have the shade in Brunette. I adore this. This is by far my favorite dry shampoo ever. First of all, it works really well. Second of all, it's actually brown, so it doesn't give my hair a white cast. And third, it smells wonderful. My husband always thinks my hair smells like chocolate, kind of like chocolate and flowers when I use this, so he really likes the scent of it. I like how it works. Coco Lavish is an awesome Etsy shop. It's a smaller brand. I love supporting Coco Lavish. If you have not tried out their dry shampoo, you definitely need to. Um, she also has a blonde one as well, which is actually tinted so that it's like a little bit more of a yellowy golden color. It's not straight white either. This just works. It is amazing. I don't need to say anything else about it. So I also used up the uh, Acure Dry Shampoo and it's their brunette shade as well. This one just does not blow me away like the Coco Lavish one does. It does work and I like that I can pick it up at Whole Foods. So the only reason I would repurchase this is for an emergency, which reminds me, I already do have another bottle of the Coco Lavish Dry Shampoo and I'm already working through my other bottles. So Mark, I've got a backup of that one. But this one here, I think I would only purchase if I like somehow didn't order a Coco Lavish one in time and I ran out of dry shampoo and was an emergency. But this one just is not as darkly tinted as the Coco Lavish. So the Coco Lavish is better at not giving my hair a white cast. It works, but I like the Coco Lavish better. Also, this one is not scented, so it doesn't give you any like scent to refresh your hair either. So I'm sure you guys are familiar. You've seen a few of these around. This is my Alima Pure satin matte foundation. I use the shade cool too. As you can see, it is empty, empty. Actually, I do have to give you a tip. Um, if you're having a little bit of a problem getting the last bit of the foundation out, my husband actually popped out the sifter for me so I could get like the last little bits out. So you can pop the sifter out. It just required a little bit more muscle than when I had. So my husband was able to pop it out, but um, that's a good tip if you do use these. I love them. I already have another one of these foundations that I'm using. I love it to set my foundation. It provides a little bit more coverage. The color is great. It wears really well throughout the day. I've got some brow products. So this is the Honest Beauty Brow Filler. I use the shade Warm Auburn. I like this one a lot until I found this one, which is the one from Found Cosmetics. I use the shade Dark Brown and this one. This one is just that's what I have in my brows today. I love it. It's so easy and so fast to apply. It's really cheap. I believe it's around seven or eight dollars for this retractable brow pencil, whereas this one is more like 15, 16. So this one's double this one. And I just like the way this one wears. I like how it blends. I like the shades in this one better. I think this one has a better shade variety. I, this one had been my favorite up until finding the found. 
So I do have another one of these that I need to go through, but after I go through that one, I'm only going to be purchasing this one. And I already do have one of the found um, eyebrow pencils that obviously I used it today. So we're, we're almost there, only three things left. So one of them is the Benjabel Cleansing Balm. This is a brush cleanser and I went through the entire soap. And I was going to repurchase another one, but I actually ran out of the soap mid cleansing my brushes and I was like, uh-oh, I need to finish cleaning my brushes. What am I going to do? So I grabbed my Dr. Bronner's soap, my, their liquid soap, and used that to clean my brush, the rest of my brushes. And the Dr. Bronner's just work better than this one. So I think I'm just gonna keep using the Dr. Bronner's liquid soap instead of purchasing a designated cleansing balm. The only thing is I prefer having a solid brush cleanser. So maybe at some point I'll actually get one of the Dr. Bronner's bars of soap rather than their liquid soap but the liquid soap really cleaned my brushes really quickly, really easily. I mean, they were completely spotless. So I'll see one of these in one of my empties. This is my native deodorant. The shade here I have is grapefruit and bergamot. This is a limited edition um, summer scent, and this is probably my favorite scent I've ever used. I went through two of these uh, tubes of this scent, and I'm really hoping, really, really hoping that next summer they come out with some more. I love this deodorant. It's a little bit pricey, but it works so well for me. I have zero desire to try anything else out. My family loves it. They use it. Um, Reagan from Indie Boo also tried it. She finds it works really well for her. Unless you're allergic to baking soda, I would recommend this one, but they do actually have a new baking soda free version. I've not tried it, but if you are sensitive to baking soda, I would check that out because the other ones work so well. I imagine that one would too. I already have three backups of native deodorant and different um, since obviously because that one was limited edition, but I really love it. So the final thing here, you can't actually tell what it is because the label wore off because it is not waterproof and I had to use this in the shower. This is the lemon argan um, conditioner. I got a sample of this when I purchased the face wash. I absolutely love this. It works super well on my hair. It really conditioned well. I'd already gone ahead and purchased the one from Desert Essence, but this is definitely a conditioner I would purchase in the future. The smell is fantastic. And like I said, it really did condition my hair. All right, I did try and power through my empties. So hopefully that wasn't too long. I had a lot of stuff. I've been trying to really go through a lot of products um, and kind of clear out my collection. Hopefully you found this video useful and maybe a little bit entertaining. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I'm at naturally beautiful girl. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you used any of these products, uh, let me know in the comment section down below or let me know some products that you've made your way through recently. I will see you next time. Bye.